Okay, so how to interpret ABG? Uh, this is something very important when you start working in the hospital. Okay, so to interpret ABG, you must look at the three things. What are the three things you must look at? pH, carbon dioxide, and bicarbonate. Yeah? pH, carbon dioxide, and bicarbonate. Uh, and also, you should know the normal pH. What is the normal pH? 7.352. 7.45, okay? The normal range of pH between 7.35 to 7.45. But what is the normal pH without giving a range? 7.4. Remember that that's something very important to understand. The normal pH is 7.4. But the normal range is between 7.35 to 7.45. If the pH is below 7.35, that is acidosis. If it is above 7.45, that is alkalosis. All of you know that. Okay, so now, whenever there is an acidosis or alkalosis, the body will try to compensate and bring the pH towards normal. Okay? So, it is a compensation. If you see here, what is this? Uncompensated, partially compensated and fully compensated. So, you need to understand what is this uncompensated, partially compensated or fully compensated. So now imagine the initial pH is 7.2. If the initial pH is 7.2, what is that? Acidosis, normal or alkalosis? Acidosis. That is acidosis. Okay? The body has to bring that pH towards the normal, towards the normal range. Imagine it brought up to 7.3. It brought up to 7.3. Has it reached the normal normal range? Not yet. It is not yet at the normal level. So here, initial p the pH is 7.2, where no composition happened. That's the initial pH. Imagine, that's no composition happened. What do you call that? Uncompensated. That is uncompensated. No composition happened at all. Okay, that's uncompensated. Here, the initial pH of 7.2. Now the body has brought the pH towards the normal range. But it has not yet reached the normal range. Not yet reached the normal range. So, what do you call that? Partially, partially compensated. That's partially compensated. But imagine a pH came within the normal range. Body, body has brought the pH within the normal range. What do you call that? Fully compensated. Yeah, that is fully compensated. Okay? Now, when the body compensates the pH, when the body compensates the pH, it can compensate only up to 7.4. It cannot compensate over that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. It cannot go beyond 7.4. Though there is a normal range there, though there is a normal range, it can compensate only up to 4, 7.4. Not beyond that. All of you understand? Mm -hmm. So now you tell me, initial pH, when there is no compensation happened, what do you call that? Uncompensated, but some compensation has happened, but not yet to reach the normal value, normal range. What is that? Partially compensated. When it reaches the normal range, that is fully compensated. Again, when you compensate, it can compensate only up to 7.4. It cannot go beyond 7.4. Okay? Now, if, if the pH is between 7.35 and 7.4, if the pH is between 7.35 and 7.4, what can this be? This could be two things. Either it is normal, which I told you normal, or it is fully compensated acidosis. Fully compensated acidosis. All of you understood? If the pH is between 7.35 and 7.4, this is either normal or fully compensated acidosis. Okay? Again, imagine if the, no, uh, the pH is 7.55, 7.55, what is this? That's alkalosis. Imagine that's an initial pH where no composition happened, which is uncompensated. All of you know that. Mm -hmm. But imagine the pH, body brought the pH down to the, towards the normal range, it reached up to 7.5. Reached up to 7.5. Has it reached the normal limit? No. Not yet. What do you call that? Partially compensated. That's partially compensated. But again, body brought the pH bit, uh, to 7.42. What do you think that is? That is fully compensated. The fully compensated what? Fully compensated. Fully compensated. Alkalosis. Fully compensated alkalosis. Okay? 
Now, if the pitch is between 7.4 and 7.45, pitch between 7.4 and 7.45, what can that be? Normal. Is either normal or fully compensated? Alkalosis. Can this be fully compensated acidosis? No. In the pH between 7.4 and 7.45? No. no, because I told you there is no overcompensation. When compensation happens, it can only happen up to 7.4. Same way here, from this side, when it is compensating, the maximum it can reach up to 7.4. It cannot come below 7.4. That means in the pH between 7.35 and 7.4, can it be fully compensated alkalosis? No. That is not possible. All of you understood? Remember, cutoff point is 7.4. That means if the pH is above 7.4, it's alkaline side. If it's below 7.4, that is acidic side. Are you understood now? Okay. Now, what I want you to do is to I'll keep on explaining. I want to keep putting arrows into these boxes. Okay, so that you understand properly what it is. Uh, I told you initially there is no compensation happens. It takes time for the body to compensate. It takes time for the body to compensate. That means before the compensation happened, that's what you call as uncompensated. Now the pH, all of you know the normal range is 7.35 to 7.45 and other one is carbon dioxide. Normal range is between 4.6 to 6 kilopascals and bicarbonate is 24 to 28 millimoles. And remember, carbon dioxide in the body, carbon dioxide within the body, it is an acid, which is a carbonic acid. So carbon dioxide is an acid. So carbon dioxide is regulated through the lungs, so it's called as respiratory acid. Remember, carbon dioxide is a respiratory acid. So carbon dioxide is a respiratory acid. That means if the carbon dioxide raised in the body, what do you call? Respiratory acidosis. So now, what is the, that means, what is the primary pathology in the respiratory acidosis? Increased carbon dioxide. All of you understood? The primary pathology in the respiratory acidosis is high carbon dioxide. Now I want you to put arrows in the respiratory acidosis box in the uncompensated box. Uncompensated box, I want you to put the arrows. Now pH. Acidosis means pH will be higher low? No. Low. So put the arrow facing down. Put arrow facing down. <coughs> pH is low. And what are the primary pathology in respiratory acidosis? High. Carbon dioxide will be high. high. Carbon dioxide is high. So put the arrow facing up. Then bicarbonate. When there's a compensation happens, the bicarbonate has to change to compensate for that. Yeah, the bicarbonate has to change to compensate that. But that takes time to compensate. So that means before the composition happened, yeah, uncompensate actually. What do you think the bicarbonate will be? No. no. So can you just write N? N means no. So before the composition happened, it will be normal. So in uncompensate. Now, all of you know the uncompensate state of respiratory acidosis. So what happens, what is the blood picture in uncompensated respiratory acidosis? Acidosis means pH will be low. Yeah. Respiratory means CO2 will be high. Uncompensated means bicarbonate is now. All of you understood so far? Yes. So remember the primary pathology there is uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah, I'm putting the green boxes. Wherever there's a green box, that is a primary pathology. All of you remember that. Important to remember, understand the primary pathology. Once you understand the primary pathology, then all other things are easy to understand. Now again, remember bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is alkali or acid? Bicarbonate is alkali or acid? Okay. Alkali. So bicarbonate is actually regulated through the kidneys, not the lungs. So, yeah, bicarbonate is not regulated through the lungs, it's regulated by the kidney. So is it metabolic alkali or respiratory acid? Alkali. Metabolic. metabolic. Remember that as a metabolic alkali. Okay, so bicarbonate is a metabolic alkali, metabolic alkali, metabolic alkali, yeah, bicarbonate is a metabolic alkali, so that means if the bicarbonate is raised in the body, what is that, acidosis or alkalosis, 
alkalosis. Will it be metabolic alkalosis or respiratory alkalosis? Metabolic alkalosis. So now you put the blood picture in the metabolic alkalosis, uncompensated box, uncompensated, put the arrows there. So the pH will be higher low, high, alkalosis means pH is high. What is the primary pathology? Metabolic alkalosis, what is the primary pathology? Bicarbonate will be high. So put the arrow there, bicarbonate high, bicarbonate high, that's the primary pathology. Now to compensate this alkalosis, the carbon dioxide has to change. Carbon dioxide has to change to compensate for that. That takes time. That means when there's no composition happen, what will be the carbon dioxide? Normal. It will be normal. Okay, carbon dioxide will be normal because no composition happened there as yet. But again, remember the primary pathology here is bicarbonate is high. Artosis means bicarbonate is high. Okay, I put a green box box there. That's a primary pathology. Okay, so now again imagine. Imagine we have a beaker here, we have a beaker here and uh, which has got equal amount of acid and equal amount of alkali, okay, remember, understand that. Why do you say pH is neutral or normal range, when do you say that? If there is an equal amount of acid and equal amount of alkali, remember, I will put it as uh, the red color, red color is acid, okay, and black color is alkali, black is alkali, yes. Uh, Dr. Sorry, I, we have some of the online students haven't got the uh, notes yet. The CVG. Can, can you call the office number? Uh, please call the office. Please. We can see them more properly. Please call the office number. Please call the office number. Uh, want me to go? Yes, please call the office number. Tell them online doctors. Notes, yeah. Uh, okay, so just remember, try to understand here. The when I say pH is normal range, pH is normal range means that there is an equal amount of acid and equal amount of alkali. That's why the pH is normal between 7.35 to 7.45. But if I decrease the acid content here, if I decrease the acid content, what do you think will happen to the blood? Alkalosis. Do you understand? So blood will become alkalotic because alkali is high there. So you, because you decrease the acid. What is the acid you are talking about? It's carbon dioxide. Acid. So we are decreasing the carbon dioxide. Remember carbon dioxide respiratory acid which I told you. So if you reduce the carbon dioxide, that means if you reduce the respiratory acid, <coughs> the blood will become alkalosis. Yes. Which alkalosis? Respiratory or metabolic? Respiratory alkalosis. If you reduce the respiratory acid, if you reduce the respiratory acid, the alkalosis what you get is a respiratory alkalosis. Are you understood? Yes. Yes. Now put the arrows in the respiratory alkalosis box, uncompensated box. So the alkalosis means pH is higher low. Uh, pH is high there. What is the primary pathology here? CO2. CO2 will be low. low. CO2 will be low. That's the primary pathology. CO2 will be low. That's the primary pathology. Remember that? And uncompensated means, what do you think the bicarbonate will be? Normal. normal. Means, there is no composition happened. That is normal. So, all of you understood that part? Okay. Now again, imagine we have a beaker here which has got a blood, which is neutral, means equal and acid and equal and alkali. If I remove alkali, if I remove alkali, a little bit of alkali from that, if I remove a little bit of alkali, what will happen to the blood? Acid. It will become acidosis. What alkali we are talking about? Bicarbonate. We are removing the bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is a metabolic alkali. If you remove the metabolic alkali, what will happen to the blood? Acidosis. Which acidosis? Metabolic acidosis. If you remove the metabolic alkali, it will become metabolic acidosis. Are you understood? Okay, now put the arrows in the metabolic acidosis box and composite it. Acidosis means pH will be low. pH will be low. And what is the primary pathology here? Bicarbonate will be low. Bicarbonate is low. That's the primary pathology. And no composition happened. That means carbon dioxide is normal. 
That means carbon dioxide will be normal. So the, remember the polymer pathology. That's a low bicarbonate. Okay, now without looking the board, I want all of you to tell me what the primary pathology. Okay. I want you to tell me what the primary pathology in metabolic uh, alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis. What time it is? High. Okay, so metabolic means problem in the bicarbonate. High or low. Okay. So metabolic alkalosis in bicarbonate will be high. What is the primary pathology in metabolic acidosis? Bicarbonate will be low. What is the primary pathology in respiratory alkalosis? Respiratory means problem is the carbon dioxide. Should be high. If it is high, what happens? Acidosis. So it should be low. So carbon dioxide will be low in respiratory alkalosis and respiratory acidosis of the primary pathology. Carbon dioxide will be high. All of you understood so far? Yes. Yeah. Now what you need to understand is what happens when there's a compensation. Okay, so <coughs> Now again, imagine we have a beaker which has got a blood which has got an equal amount of acid and equal amount of alkali, so it is neutral. Now imagine, imagine you reduce acid. Reduce acid means reduce the carbon dioxide. If you reduce the carbon dioxide, that becomes what? Respiratory alkalosis, right? That became respiratory alkalosis. Yes. So now, to compensate that, compensate that. How do you compensate? There are two ways. Yeah. Two ways. Either you increase the acid or decrease the alkali because the amount should be equal. Then only it becomes neutral. Either you increase acid or decrease the alkali. Okay. Two ways. Mm -hmm. Now, can you increase the acid? Can the body increase the acid? Yeah, no. Increase acid means increase carbon dioxide. Yeah. The pathology is making the body to lose carbon dioxide. Do you understand? Yeah. So, what is the pathology? Is losing carbon dioxide. How do you lose carbon dioxide? Hyperventilation. Yeah, any condition which makes the patient breathe fast, like pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, whatever it is, the carbon dioxide is washed out. So that's why the acid is low. The pathology is making the body to lose carbon dioxide. So that means, can the body increase the carbon dioxide? Body cannot fight against the problem. The problem is where it is losing carbon dioxide. That means the body cannot increase the carbon dioxide. That means the only way body can compensate is by reducing the alkali. Do you understand? To make it equal, you have to reduce the alkali. Are you understood? So, now you tell me what happens in a compensated state of respiratory alkalosis. Partially, first to talk about partially compensated. Partially means what happened? Some composition has happened, but but not reach the normal value, not reach the normal range. So not yet reach the normal range. That means the pH is still high. high. pH is still high. pH is still high. And the primary pathology is the same. That is not the change. Primary pathology is still low carbon dioxide, right? Yes. Primary pathology is still low carbon dioxide. That is still the same. Now, what happens to the bicarbonate? It has to go down. All of you understood? It has to go down. So, if you understood the partially composite, you should easily understand the fully composite. What do you think happens fully composite? pH is the normal. pH is the normal. Where? pH can be where? Between what to what? 7.35, sorry, 7.42, 7.45. 7.45. So it's fully composite alkalosis, remember that. So so now you know the primary pathology is still the same, that is low carbon dioxide and bicarbonate will be even further low, further low. I put a double arrow to show bicarbonate will be even more low to bring the pH towards normal range. Do you understand that? Okay. So all of you understood what happens when there is a composition. Now again, imagine, imagine
imagine there's a blood which is neutral again because of the equivalent of acid and equivalent of alkali. Now, imagine you reduce alkali, reduce alkali means reduce what? Bicarbonate. If you reduce bicarbonate, what happens to the blood? Acid. Which acid? Metabolic acidosis, right? Metabolic acidosis. So, because alkali is reduced, metabolic acidosis. Now, body has to compensate and bring it to normal. How? There are two ways. Either you increase acid or you decrease the acid. Understood? Either you increase acid, make it equal, or decrease acid, sorry, increase the alkali and make it equal, or decrease acid and make it equal. Now, can the body increase the alkali? No, pathology is making the body to lose alkali. Like a diarrhea. Diarrhea making the patient lose alkali. When he loses alkali, bicarbonate, the body becomes acidosis, which is metabolic acidosis. Now, the body cannot increase the bicarbonate because the pathology makes him to lose bicarbonate. That means how to neutralize us. How? There is only one way, is to reduce the acid. All of you understood? Reduce the acid. Reduce the acid means which acid? Carbon dioxide. How does the body reduce carbon dioxide? Hyperventilate. That means if somebody has got diarrhea, if he is losing bicarbonate, the patient will hyperventilate to lose the acid. Okay, so now you put the arrows in the partially composite in metabolic acid. Metabolic acidosis means pH is still low, still low, not yet reach the normal range. It's still low. And what the primary pathology is here? Primary pathology is low bicarbonate, which I told you, that's a low. Now, what happens to carbon dioxide? Will be low. Carbon dioxide will reduce low to compensate. Now, if it's fully compensated, what happens? pH will be normal and the primary pathology is still the same, which is low bicarbonate. What happens to carbon dioxide? It will be further low. So, double arrow there. It will be further low. Now again, imagine we have a blood with the equal amount of acid and equal amount of alkali. That's why it is neutral. But imagine, imagine the carbon dioxide is increased, acid is increased, acid is increased. What do you mean acid is increased? Carbon dioxide is increased. How does the carbon dioxide increase in the body? Patient is breathing very slow. Some pathologies which is making the patient breathe very slow, like sinus depression, or if you give morphine, too much morphine, respiratory depression. So it causes what? Acidosis. The acid is high. Acidosis. Which acidosis? Respiratory acidosis. Are you understood? When the patient is breathing very slow, the carbon dioxide accumulate, which is acid, which is respiratory acidosis. So you know the pathology now. Now, the body has to compensate, bring the pH towards normal. How to do that? As it is high. Either you decrease acid or increase the bicarbonate, increase the alkali. Can the body decrease acid? No, because the pathology is making to the increase acid. Pathology is making to breathe slowly so that the carbon dioxide is increasing. The, the body cannot decrease the carbon dioxide. That means how to neutralize this? By adding Alkali, you have to add alkali. Are you understood? Yes. Add bicarbonate. Mm. So the bicarbonate will increase. Yeah. Are you understood? Yeah. So now you put the arrows in the respiratory acidosis boxes. Acidosis, still partially composited, means still acidosis. So still pH is still low. And primary pathology is? Still there. Still there. This is high carbon dioxide. That is still the same. What happens to the bicarbonate? Increase. Will increase. Bicarbonate has to increase. Yeah. And again, put the arrows in the, the fully composited. Normal. pH is normal. And high. carbon is still high. Further. And the bicarbonate will be further. further high. It will increase even more. Same way, the, the other one, metabolic acid, you can easily understand now. What about the carbon dioxide? Could it be normal or not? If it is carbon dioxide, no. 
Where? In the Porsche one. Then how can it be a respiratory an acidosis there? I told you respiratory acidosis with carbonates has to be high. Then only the respiratory acidosis. So you should only look at the which is compensating. That's why I told you you must always look at the primary pathologies. Okay, so now imagine there's a pathology which is making the patient to retain bicarbonate. Retain bicarbonate. What happens to the bicarbonate then? Increase. Will increase. Yeah, bicarbonate increases. Are you understood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine there's a pathology which is making the patient to retain bicarbonate. So bicarbonate will go high, that will be alkalosis. Which alkalosis? Metabolic alkalosis. So the body has to compensate. How? Either by increasing the acid or decreasing the bicarbonate. Can the body decrease the bicarbonate? No, because the pathology is making him to increase the bicarbonate. So he cannot decrease the bicarbonate. Only way he can he is to do is to neutralize is to increase the acid. Okay, all of you understood now? So you are metabolic alkalosis. So partially composited means pH is still high. pH is still high. And the primary pathology is high bicarbonate that is still there. What happens to carbon dioxide? Will be increased. Acid, you have to increase acid. And again, fully composite means pH has reached the normal. And primary pathology is still the same, which is high bicarbonate. And what happens to carbon dioxide? Further high. Okay, so all of you understood so far? Yes. Now, to interpret ABG, to make it simple to interpret. <coughs> Listen again. To make it simple to interpret. In a respiratory condition, in respiratory condition, which condition? Respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis? In respiratory conditions, okay, the, the arrows, the arrows of the pH and carbon dioxide will face opposite to each other. Are you interested? I'll repeat again. In respiratory conditions, which are the conditions of respiratory conditions? Respiratory acidosis or respiratory? Alkalosis. In respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis, the arrows, the arrows will, arrows of pH and the arrows of carbon dioxide, they face opposite to each other. If they do not face opposite to each other, it is not a respiratory problem. All of you understood? If they face, if the arrows of the pH and carbon dioxide, if they face opposite to each other, it is a respiratory problem. If they do not face opposite to each other, then it's not a respiratory problem. Okay? So let's look at the respiratory acidosis here. Yeah, can you, in a composite state, of course. Okay, in a composite state. So the arrows of pH facing where? Down. down. Yeah, the arrows facing down. Can you see? Yes. And the arrow of carbon dioxide is facing oh. up. Are they facing opposite each other? Yes. yes, that means it's a respiratory problem. Acid or alkalosis you will easily make out because the pH is low means acidosis. You understood that? Okay. Now, look here. Look here. The pH arrow is facing up or down? Down. 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 And the carbon is also facing down. down. Is it a respiratory problem? No. No. That's a metabolic problem. So again here, pH, the arrow is facing up. And here carbon dioxide facing no. down. Is it a respiratory problem? Yes. yes. Which problem? Alkalosis or acidosis? Alkalosis, because the pH is high. Okay? Here, the pH is up. Carbon dioxide is also up. up. So, are they facing opposite each other? No. No. So, is it a respiratory problem? No. no. It has to be metabolic problem. All of you understood? Yes. Dr. Swami, sorry. There is a mnemonic for this room. Wrong. What is that? Respiratory opposite, metabolic equal. Yeah. Respiratory opposite, metabolic equal. Okay. So all of you can remember that. Okay. Now, again, again to look, again to see what happens when there's a conversation happens. When there's a conversation happen, whatever is compensating, what happens to the one which is compensating? Will it increase or decrease? That is a bit difficult. But if you look at the primary pathology, then you will know easily. Imagine <coughs> the carbon dioxide is high and the pH is low. Which condition is that? Respiratory, Respiratory acidosis, right? Primary pathology is high carbon dioxide. 
the compositing one here, compositing one is a bicarbonate. Mm -hmm. is, should it increase or decrease? <laughs> if you remember whatever is, whatever is compositing, it always follows the primary pathology. For example, here, if you look here, what is the primary pathology of respiratory acidosis? Carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is high. What is compensating? Bicarbonate. So it should also follow the primary pathology. Means that also should be high. Do you understand that? Whatever is compensating, it always follows the primary pathology. Primary pathology is high carbon dioxide, so bicarbonate also go high when compensating. If you look here, metabolic acidosis, what is the primary pathology? Bicarbonate will be low. What is compensating? Carbon dioxide is compensating. If the bicarbonate is low, which is a primary pathology, what happens to the carbon dioxide when it is composite? Also will be low. Is it understand? Here, respiratory alkalosis. Respiratory alkalosis, what is the primary pathology? CO2 is low. Compensating the bicarbonate is only compensating. What happens to the bicarbonate? It will also be low. Again, here, primary pathology in metabolic alkalosis. What is that? Bicarbonate is high. So carbon is also it will be high. 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 All right, you understood? Yes. So that means whatever is compensating, it always follows the primary pathology. That's why I told you you must understand what the primary pathology in all the whole conditions. Yeah. If you understand that, rest becomes easy. Now, all if you can interpret ABG? Yes. yes. I'm going to keep giving you some values. You should tell me three things. There are three things you must tell me. When I give values, what is the first thing you should tell me? Whether it is acidosis or alkalosis. How do you look at it? pH. Then you should tell me whether it is respiratory or metabolic. And then third one you should tell me whether it is uncompensated, partially compensated or fully compensated. Are you okay? Yes. pH 7.2, carbon dioxide 9, bicarbonate 25. What is the best way to interpret ABG? Put arrows. Put arrows first to make it easy. PH is high or low? Low. Carbon dioxide high or low? High. Bicarbonate high or low? Low. Normal. So, PH low means acidosis. Carbon dioxide high. Respiratory acidosis. Bicarbonate is normal. Uncompensated. All of you understood? Yes. So, what is the full picture? Uncompensated respiratory acidosis. Are you okay? People are not talking. Yes. Seven point two one. Seven point two one. Nine. Thirty three. Partial carbon dioxide. 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 Partial carbon because pH has not reached the normal range. It's not in the normal range. So that means this is partially composited. So partially composited respiratory acidosis. Are like you following me? Yes. yes. Seven point five five. Three point two. And 26. 
pH is high, carbon dioxide is low, bicarbonate is normal. Normal. So pH is high means alkalosis. Carbon dioxide is low. Are they facing opposite each other? Yes. Yeah, so it is respiratory. Respiratory alkalosis and carbon dioxide is the bicarbonate is not changed, so it is uncommon. Uncomfortable, say the respiratory arthritis. Are you okay? Yeah. 7.5 uh, 9.33 Pages I carbon dioxide is I. So what is this? PH high means what? Alkalosis. Carbon dioxide is so high. Can it be respiratory? No, it can't be respiratory. So it must be metabolic. Yeah. So bicarbonate is also high. So what is this? Partially compensated. Metabolic. Alkalosis. Are well, you following me? Yes. Because the Primary, because the arrows are facing, not facing opposite each other, but it can't be respiratory, it must be metabolic. So if you look at the bicarbonate, bicarbonate is high, which is confirms that. So the bicarbonate is high and also carbon dioxide has changed, it is increased. But the pH has not reached the normal limits, so it is partially compensated. So partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. Sand point four two nine thirty two. Pages is normal. Pages is normal. Pages is normal. Carbon dioxide is high. By carbon dioxide is high. So, if these things are abnormal, though the pH is normal, it is now it is normal. Do you understand? Yeah. There is there is a problem, but it is composite because other two are abnormal. If other two are normal, though the pH is normal, this is not the normal blood gas because it is composited, became normal. Okay, so then you must know what it is. Is it? A, Fully compensated acidosis or fully compensated alkalosis. How do you know that? That's why I told you 7.4. Yeah. The cutoff point is the middle point. Yeah. If anything above 7.4, it is alkalotic side. If anything below 7.4, it is acidic side. So now, if you have to put the arrow, will the arrow phase up or down? Up. up because above 7.4. That means if the pH is 7.42, this is either normal pH or fully compensated alkalosis. Yeah, all of you understood? Okay, now if you look at the, now that you look at the arrows, that arrow and the carbon dioxide arrow, are they facing opposite each other? No, they are not facing opposite each other. So this can, this cannot be respiratory, this can be metabolic. Now we tell me, what is the picture? Fully compensated metabolic alkalosis. Are you okay? Yes. Seven point three nine eight three point three eight nine seven. Okay. Nine and thirty three. Pages, now carbon dioxide is high, bicarbonate is high. Though the pH is normal, other things are not normal, that means this is compensated. It came to normal. So if you want to put arrow, is it being facing up or down? No. Facing down because it, be, it is below 7.4. So now we look at the arrow, pH and carbon dioxide. They are facing opposite to each other. So this is a respiratory or metabolic problem? Respiratory problem. So respiratory acidosis. Fully composite. Yeah? Because it's normally fully compensated respiratory acidosis. So all of you following now? Yes.
Only put the arrows. Seven point three seven. This is normal. And carbon dioxide is high. By carbon dioxide is low. Very low. Okay, very low. Fine. Now, if these are abnormal, the pH, what though it is normal, this is actually composited. Okay, comes in acidosis or alkalosis? Acidosis. So the, the arrow has to be facing down. Okay, if the arrow is facing down, and this arrow is facing up. Okay, let's put it okay, before that. So now, look at one thing at a time. So if the pH is 7.37, there are two possibilities. Either it's normal or fully compensated acidosis. Can it be fully compensated alkalosis? No. No. Okay. Now, if you look at the carbonic which is high, yeah. if you look at this, these arrows are facing opposite each other, right? right. So, this is respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis. It is fully composite respiratory acidosis, isn't it? Yes. If it is. Yes. Now, what do you expect the bicarbonate to be? High or low? If it is fully composite. High. high. Is it high? No. No. Now, look at, again, this is acidosis. Or not? Not. Okay, now, if you look at that one, what do you think that is? This is metabolic acidosis. Do you understand? Yes. Bicarbonate low and pH is low. So that's a metabolic acidosis. Fully composite metabolic acidosis because pH is reached the normal limits. Fully composite metabolic acidosis. If it is fully composite metabolic acidosis, what do you expect the carbon dioxide to be? No. That's the primary pathology. Bicarbonate is the primary pathology. So, the carbon dioxide should follow that. Yeah. So, that means that also should be low. low. Yeah. Is it low? No. 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 So, if you look at only these two, what is this? Metabolic acidosis. If you look at only these two, what is that? Respiratory acidosis. If you look at all the three, respiratory acidosis and metabolic acidosis. So, what is the picture? Acidosis. Combined. <laughs> Mixed picture. So this is a mixed picture because sometimes you can have two conditions going on at the same time. Okay? So you can have two conditions going on at the same time. For example, the carbon dioxide is high, means he is breathing very slow. Maybe some condition is breathing very slow. And he is also in metabolic acidosis means maybe imagine if somebody is having some problem and is given morphine. He is given morphine too much morphine. What happens? The respiratory depression. That is the respiratory acidosis. And also if it's got diarrhea, what's happening to him? Losing bicarbonate. Do you understand? So it could be metabolic acidosis also. So two problems can be going at the same time, which is a mixed picture. All of you understood? Yes. So all of you know how to interview DVD now? Yes. Okay, the last one. Seven. Seven point three eight, five point two, twenty seven. Seven point three is either normal or fully compensated acidosis. Yeah. Arrow below. So, carbon dioxide is normal. Bicarbonate is normal. So, fully compensated. This is normal ABG. This is normal ABG. Are you okay now? Okay, sir. The other thing got the nose, right? Okay. Again, one other important thing: what you need to understand which condition causes alkalosis acidosis. I'll just go through quickly. Open page number one. Open page number one. 
Okay, what do you need to understand the causes? Okay, so causes are respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis means carbon dioxide increase. When does the carbon dioxide increase? When is the carbon dioxide? When the patient is breathing? Slowly. Or, or the patient cannot breathe out the carbon dioxide. When does he cannot breathe out? It is an obstruction. Okay, this is trachea bronchus obstruction. So that means air obstruction. Yeah, air obstruction, which is the condition which causes air obstruction? Asthma and COPD. Asthma, COPD. They cannot breathe out the carbon dioxide, so carbon dioxide gets retained. So that also can cause the respiratory acidosis. Or where he is breathing very slowly, which condition makes the breath of the patient breathe slowly? CNS depression. Yeah, anything which causes CNS depression. Sleep disorder breathing. Yeah, sleep, obstructive sleep apnea. Neuromuscular impairment. Why neuromuscular impairment? There is a respiratory center in the brain which has to, the, it has to the, the information has to come to the spinal cord then the intercostal now supplying the muscles, intercostal muscles. So that's how you breathe, right? So if there is a problem in the spinal cord or in the intercostal nerves or in the muscles, he can't breathe properly. So that also causes respiratory depression. Or ventilatory restrictions means if you put the patient on a ventilator machine and you did not adjust the machine properly. So if the, the machine is breathing slowly, so he is breathing slowly. So carbon dioxide will increase. Or increased carbon dioxide production, like shivering, dry gills, seizures, malignant hyperthermia, hypermetabolism, increased intake of carbon dioxide. Or incorrect mechanical ventilation setting, which I told you. Now the causes of respiratory alkalosis. All of you can easily understand. Alkalosis means patient has to be breathing fast. If he is breathing fast, the carbon dioxide will go out. So which are the ones which will make the patient breathe fast? CNS stimulation, CNS stimulation like fever, pain, fever, uh, fear, anxiety, CVA, cerebral edema, brain tumor or uh, CNS infection. That means in meningitis, what happens? Patient will be breathing fast, which causes the respiratory alkalosis. Or hypoxemia or hypoxia, the lung disease or profound anemia, okay, or low satur the oxygen uh, saturation means you give a very low oxygen to the patient. Okay, so stimulation of chest receptors like pulmonary edema, pleural effusion, pneumonia, pneumothorax, pulmonary embolism. Means all these conditions make the patient breathe fast. That means uh, there are two lung conditions which causes respiratory acidosis. All other lung pathologies causes respiratory alkalosis. You understand what I'm saying? There are two lung conditions which causes respiratory acidosis. Which are those? Asthma and COPD. Asthma and COPD, they cause the respiratory acidosis. All other lung pathologies, they cause the respiratory alkalosis. Because all other lung pathology will make the patient breathe fast. So carbon will be washed out. Whereas in, whereas, whereas in COPD and asthma, though he is breathing fast, but the carbon cannot go out because it is a bronchial constriction. Okay, all of you understood now? Yes. The drugs. Like hormones, salicylates, catecholamines, yeah, or pregnancy, yeah, patient will be breathing fast in pregnancy, hyperthyroidism, you know that. And incorrect mechanical ventilation. Now, make it, uh, causes of metabolic alkalosis, metabolic alkalosis. Okay, so there's a GI loss of metabolic alkalosis. Uh, one more thing you need to understand. I said acid, I was talking about acid, acid. What is acid? What is acid? CO2. CO2 is an acid. CO2 is a, which acid? Respiratory acid. But we have a lot of other acids also in the body. What acid do we have in the stomach? Hydrochloric acid. Or if somebody has got uh, the rest, cardiac arrest, there will be lactic acidosis. Okay? Or diabetic ketoacidosis. What is diabetic ketoacidosis? Ketone body, there are also acids. So any other acids in the body other than carbon dioxide, they are all metabolic acid. Except the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the respiratory acid. All other acids in the body, they are all metabolic acid. Are you understood? That means, if somebody loses hydrochloric acid from the stomach, hydrochloric acid, which is a, what acid is that? Metabolic acid. If you lose a metabolic acid, what happens? Alkalosis. Which alkalosis? Metabolic alkalosis. That means if somebody is vomiting, what happens? But vomiting, vomiting, what is there in the vomit? Stomach contains, stomach has acid, so he loses acid, hydrochloric acid. So it causes metabolic alkalosis. Easy to understand? Yes. 
So, or GA loss, GA loss of or vomiting, that's vomiting which I told you, gastric suction, may uh, the suction, sucked out all the gastric content. Villas adenoma, diarrhea with the chloride rich fluid. The renal loss of hydro, hydrogen ions, there's the loop diuretics, okay, they can cause uh, metabolic alkalosis, again hypovolemia. Renal loss, uh, all the other things you can read. Then the cause of metabolic acidosis, cause of metabolic acidosis. So, the condition which can cause the other acids to raise in the body, other than carbon dioxide. Any other acid raised in the body, it can cause metabolic acidosis or what else causes, which I have been explained to you. If the bicarbonate is low, if the bicarbonate is low, it causes metabolic acidosis or other acids, other than carbon dioxide raised in the body. Okay, so other acid means diabetic ketoacidosis. I told you ketone bodies are acid. They are, if they are raised, there will be acidosis. Which is acidosis? Metabolic acidosis. Okay. So, or uremia. Uremia can cause acidosis, metabolic acidosis or starvation. Okay, so next page. Or lactic acidosis. Lactic acidosis. Okay, all these metabolic acidosis. Uh, but remember, mostly the, uh, the in diarrhea, the common condition causes which happens in diarrhea is in diarrhea people lose bicarbonate, so it causes metabolic acidosis. Commonly, what happens in diarrhea is metabolic acidosis, but sometimes it can cause metabolic alkalosis also. That is, if the chloride is also lost. Okay, so I just want you to understand the, the one table there. You can get a mixed picture. I showed you some mixed picture. Two conditions can be happening together. For example, respiratory acidosis with the metabolic acidosis. When does it happen? Cardiac arrest or intoxication or multi-organ failure. You can get double picture, mixed picture, which is both respiratory acidosis and metabolic alkalosis. Or respiratory alkalosis and metabolic alkalosis, you can get combined picture with the cirrhosis, with the diuretics, pregnancy with the vomiting. Okay, uh, pregnant, vomit, vomiting, what happens vomiting? Yes. Metabolic alkalosis, I told you. Pregnancy, she will be breathing fast, so it will be respiratory alkalosis, so you can get a combined picture. So you can read at home, all of you understood what I am trying to explain? Yes. Okay, so, uh, the, now you had at least three stations in the PLAP2 exam, three or four stations in very ABG. All of you can understand? Yes. All of you know how to read ABG? Yes. Yeah, just before you go for lunch, one easy thing to remember. Remember in compensated metabolic condition, in compensated, compensated metabolic conditions, all the three arrows will be up or all the three, three, three arrows will be down. Do you understand? All the three arrows will be up or all the three arrows will be down. If all the three arrows will be down, that means metabolic acidosis. All the three arrows up means metabolic is it understand? So and if you can't understand anything, at least remember that. Yeah. So in the exam, most of the time you have metabolic acidosis. I'm talking the plaque too. There are some plab one candidates also there. So you can look at the other things in the handout for the plab one. Plab two candidates, if you want to read, you can read other things. Call the condition with causes for respiratory of. Let me just, it takes only five minutes. Let me see whether you understood. Page number three. Open page number three. A 24 year old man, known to be suffering from panic disorder, presents the hospital with a tingling and numbness in her fingers. ABG analysis as follows PH 7.2, what is that? Alkalosis. Carbon dioxide 2.2, what is that? Very low. PO2 is PO2, what is the normal PO2? About 14, around 14, yeah. Yeah, around that. So slightly low oxygenation. So what is this? Bicarbonate is 20. Bicarbonate is 20. Bicarbonate is also low. Carbon dioxide low. Bicarbonate low. Partial pH is high. So what is that? Partial compensation. Is it alkalosis acidosis? Alkalosis. Respiratory metabolic. Respiratory alkalosis. Respiratory alkalosis. Is it composite or? Partially composite. Respiratory alkalosis. So, what do you think? Now, Partial, remember, uh, this is only for the plug one people. If no compensation happened at all, that is uncompensated, that is acute. In partially compensated or fully compensated, that is compensated. Understood? Yes. When some compensation happened or fully compensated, that is compensated. 
No composite happened at all. That's acute. I mean, acute stage composite not happened. I already explained it to you. So, what is this? Composite. Yeah, some composite has happened there. So, composite, respiratory, alkalosis. All of you understood? Okay. So, because why is he coming to alkalosis? What is happening? He is having disorder. He is breathing fast. Okay, next one. A girl with sinus hyperventilation. What the most likely is a derangement? Oh, you already know that, yeah? pH will be increased, carbon dioxide will be decreased. So you know that. A young child of three years old has presented the vomiting for three days. On examination is mild to moderate dehydrated. What is the ABG profile likely to show? Vomiting means what are you expecting? Alkalosis, which alkalosis? Metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alcohol, pH will be high. high. Metabolic means? Bicarb what is the bicarbonate. What happens to the bicarbonate? Will be? Alkalosis. High. 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 Bicarbonate will be high. pH will be high. Bicarbonate will be high. In a composite state, if there is a composition happen, what happens to the carbon dioxide? High. High. Will be high. Yeah. If the patient is vomiting for three days, what do you expect? Composition will happen. Now you tell me which one? Answer. D, pH of high and carbon dioxide is high. Or if you understood, yes. even though they are not given a bicarbonate, you can still make out what is the condition. Yes. Because you are expecting the composition to happen by three days or vomiting. Okay, next one. 29 year old female patient present complaint diarrhea for the last four days. Bicarbonate needs to be carried out. What is the likely metabolic change that you will notice? Metabolic acidosis. If I told you bicarbonate usually uh, in diarrhea usually what you lose is bicarbonate. Remember what you lose from the top is acid, what you lose from the bottom is alkali. <laughs> is it to remember now? What you lose from the top is vomiting. Is acid, what you lose from the bottom, that's the diarrhea is alkali. So that causes, if you lose a metabolic alkali, so it causes metabolic acidosis. Which answer C. A patient admits the fever, phytophobia and non-branching rash. What's, what's happening to him? Meningitis. This is a CS infection. Causes what? Shana. Patient to breathe fast. So, so it causes respiratory alkalosis. Uh, All of you can understand easily. Yes. So rest is for you to fill out the boxes if you want to. There are some plab one candidates are there, so you can fill out the boxes.